I get calls for mediumship by the summons of spirit. So people that come to me, they do it because spirit calls them to do so or because spirit calls me to do so, but it's, it's entirely subjective. It's one of those things where I'm called into it because it's necessary in that moment. Usually a mediumship reading will involve somebody calling up who will say, you know, I have a loved one, I have somebody I knew who's passed on. Can you reach out to them? Commonly, they will ask me, does this person have anything to say to me? Do they have any messages? A lot of times I will hear a phrase or something that the person who's passed on used to say. So I will relay that to the client. The spirit will come first and just start telling me their name, like lots of stuff I shouldn't know with just hearing a hello, in order to open that person's headspace for that love question. I'm using heart-centered things. I'm not using like the brain as we know it. And so a lot of people come in and they're, and they're calling a psychic line, but they're awful logical. You know, we're actually looking where the logic isn't for a moment to suspend your reality and give you a different outcome or a different creation. To get a mediumship reading from me, it's always been very heartfelt, really joyful, a huge sense of just relief. My goal most predominantly with mediumship is um, people are typically drawn to me to release pain um, when they've carried the weight of loss for many years. So I do a lot of like, in the beginning of every we always be like, okay, not your mind, not your mind, open the ears, open the ears, open the heart, open the heart, we use the heart, we use the heart. Especially when you're investigating the mind of someone else, you really have to be clear if you really want the truth of the other person's mind. So I do whatever it takes to get the true answers. If you can laugh, if you can laugh like during a reading, like that immediately clears some headspace, instantly lights, like lightens you up.